Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Morning Devotions. I hope everybody is having a good day so far. On our prayer requests, Christy Lonnie Vlogs needs prayer for her sister, father, and niece all have COVID. Christy, if you see this, could you give me an update on how they're doing? It's been a little while. And Teresa Gretzky's daughter passed away. Pray for her and her family. And Kimmy's mother is in the ICU and she's on a ventilator. Um, pray she'll be okay. Beth's niece is still very ill, but her husband and toddler are improving. Uh, give us an update also, uh, Kimmy, if you see this, and uh, Beth, uh, let us know how they're doing. Leela has nerve compression. A therapist will be coming to her home. And Karina's sister Laura is still in critical condition and in paralysis. Tammy Johansson needs prayer for depression. Belinda and Jay Wood need prayer. Jay has pul pulmonary emboli in both lungs and a tumor. He's a Vietnam vet and a victim of Agent Orange. And he may be dying. He's ready to meet the Lord. Kim Westervelt has been having trouble with her knee. Uh, it's, she got to come home and... Uh, it's feeling much better than it was. So that's good. And Sheila's father is in the hospital with pneumonia. They won't let her mother be with him. Pray he will be okay. Her mother is shaken up pretty hard. So pray for her also. Red Road Holmes, Homestead's grandson had a mental break and is in the hospital. Martha Hamilton's daughter had a, a blood clot in her heart. Um, she's not sure why. All right. Oh boy. Kitty has been up here and made a mess with her tuna. She knocks it around, knocks the plate around. Okay. Some kind of warning on the TV in there. I'm not for sure what it is. They'll do like the amber alerts and stuff and stuff with the weather. I hope there's nothing with the weather going on. Okay, today's uh, scripture of the day comes from Psalm 75, 21 through 28. When my heart was grieved and my spirit embittered, I was senseless and ignorant. I was a brute beast before you. Yet I am always with you. You hold me by my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, and afterward you will take me into glory. Whom have I in heaven but you? And earth has nothing I desire besides you. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Those who are far from your will perish. You destroy all who are unfaithful to you. But as for me, it is good to be near God, I have made the Sovereign Lord my refuge. I will tell of all your deeds. Okay. And today's devotion is entitled, A Strong Heart. In his book, Fearfully and Wonderfully Made, co-authored with Philip Yancey, Dr. Paul Brand observed, a hummingbird heart weighs a fraction of an ounce and beats 800 times a minute. A blue whale's heart weighs half a ton, beats only 10 times per minute, and can be heard two miles away. It's funny because we just did these questions on Ask My Tablet about both of these. 
In contrast to either, the human heart seems fully functional, yet it does its job, beating 100,000 times a day, 65 to 70 times a minute, with no time off for rest, to get most of us through 70 years or more. The amazing heart so thoroughly powers us through life that it has become a metaphor for our overall inner well-being. Yet both our literal and metaphorical hearts are prone to failure. What can we do? The psalmist Asaph, the worship leader of Israel, acknowledged in Psalm 73 that true strength comes from somewhere. Someone else, he wrote. My flesh and my heart may fail, but God is the strength of my heart and my portion forever. Asaph was right. The living God is our ultimate and eternal strength. As a maker of heaven and earth, he knows so, no such limitations to his perfect power. In our times of difficulty and challenge, we may discover what Asaph learned through his own struggles. God is the true strength of our hearts. We can rest in that strength every day. How is your metaphorical heart like your spiritual heart? When you feel like you're losing heart, how can you find strength in your loving, caring Father? Heavenly Father, I thank you that when I'm weak, you're strong, that when I'm overwhelmed, you're enough, that when I'm confused, you have perfect clarity. And Lord, I want to pray today for everyone on our prayer list. Please help all of them with their different needs and help anybody out there that's been affected by the virus. In the Lord's name I pray, amen. I hope you all enjoyed this morning's devotions. Please press that like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And hit that so you get all my videos as soon as they come out. Uh, it's dreary out there again. I hadn't looked to see if it's been raining. But it looks like it could if it hasn't been. But uh, if it's not, as long as it's not raining, I'll go out there because the birds have been sounding so good. I just love it. It's so relaxing, too. Um, in the spring, when I get things going in the garden, I'll be, uh, I'll be doing my devotions out there. Um, that's always nice. I mean, you hear the birds, and I just I turn the camera on the garden or either some of my flowers I've grown out there. It's just, it just really does something for you. I mean, uh, does something for the, the devotions too, you know. So, everybody, I appreciate you. Um, I'll definitely get out there and walk if it isn't raining, because I need it, I need it bad. I didn't, I didn't really gain much, but I got up to 200 pounds. I think I was at like 198 or 199 last time, so. I didn't lose what I thought. I don't see how. I don't think our scales are right. <laughs> because it weighs less than theirs. But isn't that the way it goes always? Thanks a lot, everybody. And I'll see you in a little while on morning coffee break. God bless.